Let's take a look at how Minicam Lite can add many more video tools to your conference calls, virtual training, webinars, onboarding sessions, one-on-one -on -one video calls, and more. Welcome to Minicam's channel. In this video, we're going to walk you through all the basics of Minicam Lite. While Minicam is a complete live video studio for creators, educators, and professionals in general, Minicam Lite is a compact version of it. It still packs all the essential tools, but in a simplified way. It's a great virtual camera and live streaming software alternative for any professional that wants to deliver engaging live videos without the complicated tech and expensive hardware. Since Minicam Lite is a virtual camera, you can select it as your video source on any video conferencing app or education platform. Here, let's connect it to Zoom. We can also connect to WebEx, Microsoft Teams, Adobe Connect, and so on. On any app, when you join a meeting, you can click on the video icon and select Minicam Lite as your video source. Or you can go to Video Settings and find the option there. You can also connect the audio if you plan on showing videos or other resources with sound. This main window here is your live view. So whatever happens here will also be the output on the platform you're connected to. Everything on your live window will be visible to other participants once connected. On top, we have all the controls you need for the live window. And down here you have your video presets. You can think of these as scenes and you can easily switch between them while live. Each video preset can have one layer or multiple picture-in-picture -picture layers with different sources within them. Let's look into the video sources first. When you right-click on a layer or click on an empty video preset, you can choose the sources you'd like to add, such as images, PowerPoint, PDF, NDI input, mobile device, IP camera, desktop, YouTube URL, and color source. I'm on a Mac but on Windows you can also add web sources and games. Adding a variety of sources can be a game changer for your live videos, and since you can add your IP cameras and your mobile devices as cameras, you can easily increase the production value with multiple camera angles without any extra hardware expenses. Along with multiple video sources, you can play around with adding various picture-in-picture -picture layers. For example, if I add something to this video preset and then I want to choose a layout for it, I can right click on it and select a layout on the top here. I can add, for example, four video sources. So now let's say I want to add an image of my logo here. I can add it and then I want my webcam view on this other one here. Then I can add a PDF here, and here I could add, for example, a mobile device as a source camera. And now I can use here, point it, and I can see it on my document camera here. Another professional layout would be something like this, with your camera with rounded corners, your logo on the top here, and your PowerPoint presentation here. You can drag the layers around, you can resize the layers, and you have a lot of tools up top here to manage your layers. So for example, you have rounded corners, crop, opacity, and a few other tools that you can use. You can also zoom in and out of layers. So if you wanna show something specific and you can right click to manage a layer as well. So you can add new layers here, remove layers, or you can manage the position in the scene of each layer. So. You can bring it forward, bring it back, and many other things you can do here. So you can see that the possibilities are endless with this tool. Then once you're ready for your video conference or live stream, you can easily switch between your scenes here. So when you hover over a preset or a scene, you can transition to it and you can transition again and so on and so forth. You can also cut for a more direct transition and it's as easy as that. Speaking of easily switching between presets, what if you could control the switching from your phone so that you didn't have to stay stuck at your desk? With the remote control feature, you can do exactly that. First, use one of the video presets to connect your mobile device. 
Make sure you have the Manicam mobile app installed and logged into the same account. You should see your device on the list. Then click to connect and accept the connection on the device. On the mobile app, click on the little remote control icon and it will access all the presets you've set up on the computer. As you click on each preset on your device, they will also change on your live window and consequently on any app you're connected to. Next, let's check out the virtual backgrounds feature on Manicam Lite. So, first of all, you're going to make sure that you have selected the layer that you want to apply it on. So for me, this is the layer that I want it on. And I can come here to the button virtual background. And once I click, it activates. So here you're going to have the options to blur, remove or replace your background. And as you can see, it's already blur. And you can come into advanced settings and you can select the amount of blur that you want for your background. And you can also define the foreground area of the virtual backgrounds definition here. So for example, once you're happy with it, then you're good to go. Or you can come in here and you find options for you. So you can choose transparent background if you want to go for some other video source, for example, your PowerPoint presentation or you can select images. So we have a few selections here of beautiful images. We have an office and many other images here. You can also select video. So for example, we have this office video and you can also select abstract videos and a few other options that you can also download. Here down below, there are many images for you to choose from. You can also choose your own images for branding purposes, for example. I could add a custom virtual background here for Minicam, for example, and I would have that here in my options later on. With this feature, there's no need for a green screen, but if you have one and you want to fine tune the results, then you just come here and you activate this button. I have a green screen and you're gonna be able to select a few more details for your virtual background. Up top, we also have the drop tool and the text tool. Both can come in handy during business presentations, virtual training sessions, and hybrid learning environments. You can use them to mark up anything on your video and drive viewers' engagement. You can select the tool you want to use, select the color, and easily draw on your video feed. You can also use stamps, add shapes, create a highlighter with less opacity, and save your drawings for later. Now for the text tool, once you activate it, you get a text box which you can resize and reposition anywhere. Then adjust the parameter as you want, write your text and you're done. With Manicam Lite, you can also live stream to multiple platforms at once. All you have to do once your setup is ready is come here to the stream button and click on it. Then you're going to get a few options here by default. On Windows, you will also see Twitch and you can log in to the platform that you want to stream. Let's log into YouTube and here it's already connected because my browser was already logged into my YouTube account so it connects immediately. If you don't see this you're probably gonna have to connect it first and then you're gonna see that it was successfully connected. Now we can come back here and we can edit the details of our stream. And I can save and now once I click here stream I'm gonna go live so if I click it's gonna connect and I am live on YouTube and as we can see here I am live on YouTube and I could be on any other platform as well and now everything I do on Manicam it's gonna show up here on my YouTube live stream you can also live stream to other platforms the only difference is you have to add a custom server it's also known as RTMP streaming and it's easier than it looks. We'll link a tutorial in the description below. With Manicam Lite, you can add graphic animated titles to your conference calls and live videos in general. Up here, you will see the titles button and once you click on it, you get the panel on the side. Let's click on the plus sign to add a new title. Here, we have a selection of different title designs for us to choose from according to our content. Once selected, you can add the text and edit all the details such as fonts, colors and animation style. 
When you're ready, you can flip the switch and activate your title for your live video. Another useful functionality of Medicam Lite is the recording feature. If you have to make the same presentation, onboarding session, virtual training or virtual classes multiple times, you can record your session and then use that video later on. This is also a great idea for quality assessment and documentation. So once you're ready, all you have to do is click the record button and it's going to start. A quick note here, this is recording our live window and not your meeting or your class itself. So it's just recording whatever is on Manicam. Then you can easily get your footage from the file here. This is recording our live window and not your meeting. And that's it for our Manicam Lite walkthrough. We hope you found this helpful. And if you have any other questions, make sure you drop them in the comment section below. Also, make sure to download the latest version of Manicam Lite today. Thank you for watching.